Hello Righteous, welcome to day 178 of 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness. Proverbs 15 verse 6, In the house of the righteous there is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. In the New Living Translation, there is treasure in the house of the godly, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. In the Amplified Bible Classic Edition, it reads, In the house of the uncompromisingly righteous is great priceless treasure, but with the income of the wicked is trouble and vexation. The New American Standard Bible puts it this way, Great wealth is in the house of the righteous, but trouble is in the income of the wicked. It's important that we remember and actively keep in front of us what it means to be righteous. The righteous is simply anyone who believes in God. Anyone who believes and receives God's way of making people right with himself through Jesus Christ is righteous. As we see in Romans 3 verse 22, we are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. Romans 4 verses 22 to 25. And because of Abraham's faith, God counted him as righteous. And when God counted him as righteous, it wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was recorded for our benefit too, assuring us that God will also count us as righteous if we believe in him, the one who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was handed over to die because of our sins, and he was raised to life to make us right with God. I know we've read these scriptures over and over again, but it's necessary because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, not by having heard. It's very easy to slip into self-righteousness and trying to do things to be righteous if we don't remind ourselves constantly that righteousness is not a reward for our hard work, but a gift we receive when we believe. Verses 4 and 5 of Romans 4 reads, When people walk, their wages are not a gift but something they have earned. But people are counted as righteous, not because of their work, but because of their faith in God who forgives sinners. I love the way it is rendered in the message. If you're a hard worker and do a good job, you deserve your pay. We don't call your wages a gift. But if you see that the job is too big for you, that is something only God can do, and you trust him to do it, you could never do it for yourself, no matter how hard and long you worked. Well, That trusting him to do it is what gets you set right with God by God. Sheer gift. Hallelujah. It is a gift. It is a gift. It is a gift. And along with this gift comes the blessing. Praise God. Galatians 3 verse 9. So all who put their faith in Christ share the same blessing Abraham received because of his faith. Verse 29 says it again. And now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heirs and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Now, what promise, what blessing did Abraham receive? Let's look at Genesis 12 verses 2 and 3. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who causes you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Praise the Lord. If you put your faith in Christ, you have this same blessing. You are blessed to be a blessing. Yes, you right now, you are blessed with the same blessing and promise Abraham received. It is true that the blessing manifests itself in many ways, but praise God because it never leaves us in the dark. Scriptures always explain scriptures. No need to complicate it. Genesis 13 verse 2 reads, Abraham was very rich in livestock, silver and gold. That's like money and assets these days. That aligns accurately with our main text for today. Great wealth is in the house of the righteous. Psalm 112 proclaims the blessed state of the righteous. And verse 3 says, Wealth and riches are in the house of the righteous. Praise the Lord. You can't separate being righteous from being blessed. And you can't separate being blessed from being rich. I have not said if you are rich, it means you are righteous. Or if you are not rich, you are not righteous. No. What I said is, you can't separate being righteous from being blessed. And you can't separate being blessed from being rich. We just read a bunch of scriptures that plainly tell us that. 
God's word is true no matter what our experiences are or the experiences of other people. Uh, we should not be using our world to frame God's word. We should be using God's word to frame our own world. That is Hebrews 11 verse 3. Now, that is a subject I can't go into right now, but um, just th- you take a moment and meditate on it. Now, here is one more scripture. Proverbs 10 verse 22. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. In God's word translation, it is the Lord's blessing that makes a person rich and hard work adds nothing to it. The good news translation reads, it is the Lord's blessing that makes you wealthy. Hard work can make you no richer. Now, this is not in any way beating down hard work. The Bible says no to laziness and makes it clear in many instances that laziness and poverty are inseparable companions. Now, there is a type of wealth and riches that come by hard work. But the one we are talking about here is the one that comes as a result of the blessing. Now, if that is not your experience yet, your labor should be in the direction of the promise you've been given to enter into what God has done for you, as Abraham did by believing. Hebrews 4.11 says we should labor to enter into the rest God has provided. Now, take these scriptures we have presented here today and go to the Holy Spirit. He wants all he has promised to be your experience, much more than you want it. In the house of the righteous, there is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. Thank you for joining me on today's 365 Days of the Righteous. Remember, you are already blessed if you put your faith in Jesus Christ. And the blessing makes rich, riches that come not as a result of sweat, blood, and tears on your part, but by entering into what God has already done for you. So you can be a blessing in line with His purpose for your life. Your day is blessed. Enjoy your blessed life.